Hey everyone, welcome back. It is some Paradox Rift opening today. It's going to be Elite Trainer Boxes. I have the two Pokemon Center ones, and down here next to me, I have the two retail versions. I'm going to do the retail versus Pokemon Center ETBs. I was actually going to just throw all of this in with uh, my Paradox Rift big opening, all of the stupid box set collections that I've got over there somewhere. But I had a comment on a recent video from someone who said, well, say a recent video, had a recent comment on an old video from someone who said they really liked the Pokemon Center versus retail ETBs because they were kind of tracking to see if uh, one gave better pulls or whatever. So I will do this. We'll uh, we'll do the video. I'll, see. I'll open the Pokemon Center ones first, show off everything that's in them, then we'll open the retail, and then we'll open, what is it? It's like 40 packs or something. It's quite a lot of packs you get when you do these because it's 11 packs each in the Pokemon Center ones and then 9 packs each in the retail and I get two there's two different ones I was going to say I get two each this video is just one of each I do get two of each the others are around somewhere I'm not going to do all of that I'm going to open those off camera don't need to be showing everything yeah. so this is the Roaring Moon one got our little collector's booklet there I guess one of the reasons I'm doing the rest off-camera is because uh, I've already s sort of opened one because I had to get one of these booklets out for Laura to build our set. And we have a big dodgy piece of cardboard. Packs, this is 11. There's 11 packs. I'll make sure to keep the uh, pile separate for that person who tracks stuff. I've got here, that's my Screamtail promo, so Roaring Moon comes with Screamtail. There's my Pokemon Center one. Right, you guys saw that. I opened this fully on camera. There's the weird piece of cardboard. It's not just, like, trapped in here anywhere. I'll destroy the weird piece of cardboard just to be sure. It's not just trapped in there. My code card is here. My code card says it's the Pokemon Center one, so this is Screamtail, but I don't have the Pokemon Center Screamtail. Dividers, that, make sure it's not trapped in the lid or anything. Yep, definitely not in there. Right, well that's, there's our dice, that's uh, Fire and Poison Markers, yeah, there's... And it's not going to be... Yeah, that's all basic energy in there. It's not going to be in that. I really hope this isn't too late in my order to uh, get Pokemon Center to fix this. Alright, well, I guess I do need to go grab the other one off camera and show off the uh, the Pokemon Center promo. Alright, so the other one, which I'd already taken the cellophane and stuff off off camera, so wouldn't have been able to be claimed anyway. That one did have a Pokemon Center promo. So I do have both from that one, but then just the regular one from this one. All right. Well, let's open the uh, let's open this one and see if we get the Pokemon Center one from this one as well. Then I'm probably going to go and open the other one of this one. I'll do that on camera as well, just so that I can prove it if it doesn't come with a <laughs> with one of the promos. So the thing is, I've just filmed like rip, like just now. I filmed the video which you guys will have seen a day or two ago. Which is about the poor mop blister and how annoyed I was with the Pokemon Center that they screwed that up. Just being super paranoid now and checking my floor and stuff to make sure I didn't throw away the other Screamtail. Right, there's the packs on this one. Screamtail's not just like stuck in the packs, is it? No, it's not in there. Right. So then I have. Alright, do you have two iron bundles? So I have both the iron bundles from this one. And then. I'm not even... I'm just annoyed now. Dividers. Yep. So these are... I'll, I'll, I'll open the other one. If you... I'll cut it out if it's, everything's fine. Alright, pulled open everything else. It's... Like say, it's going to be cut out because everything was fine with all the rest of them. So here are the four promos we've got with the Iron Bundle Pokemon Center. Iron Bundle Regular. Uh, Screamtail Pokemon Center, which is the one I'm going to need another one of now. And Screamtail. Regular, you know, honestly, if the Screamtail regular had been missing from the Pokemon Center box, like, I wouldn't have cared enough to say anything, you know. The fact that it's the Pokemon Center one missing means I'm going to have to, like, try and reach out to Pokemon, try and get something sorted, because we got the retail ones as well, so we have extra copies of the regular promo of Screamtail and stuff, and the regular ones are, like, five bucks each or something. It's the, the Pokemon Center ones that are a bit more valuable, so I really don't want to have to go out and buy one, whereas... 
I would have had extras of the regular. Yeah, it's so irritating, you know. Like I get that production mistakes happen, and I'm I'm gonna try not to be too over the top irritated until we we'll see how Pokemon uh, responds and deals with the situation, which I will update you guys on. But all right, so since the retail ones, everything is the same, with the exception of two less packs and well, not having the Pokemon Center promo, but that doesn't always happen. Uh, I've just got the packs out. So I'm going to start with the retail ones. I'll tell you guys when I'm moving to a different box, so whoever's tracking them can track them if they want to. Missing quite a lot from this set. I've opened quite a few boxes and stuff off camera that uh, my wife got for tournaments, but I think Laura's going to be getting some more boxes for future tournaments and stuff, so we're not trying to buy into a lot more of it or anything right now. We're just getting stuff that comes with Comes with promos, so what we got, we have a Reverse Gimme Ghoul, a Reverse Gabite, and a Foil, a Brute Bonnet. Second pack, so obviously nine packs each for the the retail ones, and then uh, 11 packs each for the Pokemon Centers. Reverse Plusol, ooh, and it's Pathra illustration rare, we'll take that, and a Foil Deoxys. Alright, come on, let's try and get something good so that I can at least try and, you know, get the energy back up after after that disappointment. I mean, two videos in a row that are just me annoyed at the Pokemon Center, but the Pokemon Center is fully within their power to change that. Reverse Wiglet, Reverse Simicia, Foil Thievil. Moving the reverses to the top, because I know at least we do still need reverses. Uh, we don't need any anything else from the set. We don't need commons, uncommons, or, or foils. I say, we don't need anything else from the set. Of course we need EXs and good stuff, but I mean from these these regular cards. Oh, Reverse Goldback, Reverse Tinker Ting, Foil is Pathra. At least I can sort of blame being out of sorts on Pokemon Center Misery. Looks like we might have something decent coming up here. Reverse Swablu, Reverse Iron Jugulus, and we've got Garchomp EX, we'll take that. Next up. What do we got? We have Reverse Mopeko, Reverse Lipard, Foil Lokix. But the thing I really need to buy, which I know is technically not part of the Paradox Rift set, we don't have uh, staff promos for pre-release for this set yet, due to the fact that um, uh, we were away traveling, just haven't haven't bought any from anyone yet. We have got Reverse Tinker Tough, Reverse Suskit, Foil Latios. So, so far we're at one EX and one Illustration Rare out of this ETB. We next up have Reverse Onyx, Reverse Miltank, and an Iron Hands EX. Final pack from the first retail ETB. What do we have? We have got Reverse Tink Tink, Reverse Gimme Ghoul, and a Foil Glissapod. Starting on the second retail ETB now. What do we have this time? We have Reverse Chocolate, Reverse Galvantula, Foil Thiel. Nothing I've said yet, obviously biggest pulls from this set, things we're really hoping for, would be the special alt arts of, or special illustration rares, I think it's called, of uh, Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant, the two Pokemon that are on the front of the ETBs. Reverse Toxel, Reverse Octillery, Foil Chiyu. Getting those nice expensive ones out the way early would obviously be very, very nice if we can. We have got Reverse Blue Soul, Reverse Dink Dink, and Foil Palkia. I mean, I guess as I say getting them out of the way early, it's not it's not that early. We're, uh, set's been out for a little while, I just haven't opened any of it yet. Reverse Trubbish, Reverse Wochen, Foil Aegislash. What have we got? Reverse Bounce Sweet, Reverse Feebas, Foil Iron Moth. That out of the way. Okay. We have Reverse Earthen Vessel. Reverse Crustal. Hey, and a Tapu Coco EX. First hit out of uh, this ETB. Still still would hope for a, a big hit or two, like at, l at the very least a couple of full arts or something like that out of 40 total packs. But when you're buying non booster boxes, you know, higher ceilings, lower floors. Reverse Thiebel, Reverse Blitzel, Foil Ting Lu. Next one. What do we got? It is Foil Rock. Ooh, we got an illustration of a crustal. We'll take that. And a Foil Chiyu. 
Final pack of Retail ETB number two. Currently sitting at one illustration, one regular EX from this ETB. We have a Reverse Golbat, Reverse Parasol Lady, Foilsation. On to the Pokemon Center ones now. Definitely feel a different quality in the packs as well. It's really weird when they, when just the packs actually feel different when you're opening them. It's so strange. Reverse Plusle, Reverse Charconet, Foil Iron Jugulus. What do we got now? Reverse Trubbish, Reverse Absol, Foilization. Next up. Reverse Bounce Sweet, Reverse Wimpod, Foil is Pathra. I feel like we're getting a lot of the same reverses and foils that we did in the uh, other ETBs. Uh, hopefully, we're just getting some of the ones I need. I know Laura's down to missing about 5 or 6. I'm still missing 20 or 30, something like that. Maybe a few more, actually. Reverse Earthen Vessel. Ooh, I enjoy this illustration. Very nice. And a foil Glissopod. Come on, I want, I want at least one really good pull. Make up for that stupid Screamtail being missing. We have got Reverse Thievul, Reverse Lipod, and a foil Eveltol. We have got Reverse Rock, Reverse Toad School, Foil Porygon Z. So far, the uh, theory that that commenter posted that Pokemon Center ETBs have better pulls, not yet holding up. <laughs> I say, I, I don't buy into it. I feel it is just randomized. Reverse Golbat, Reverse Mantike, Foil Melodic. Yeah, I feel like it's just because there's a couple more packs in, it's going to skew the good pulls. I think it's perfectly fine, perfectly normal getting good pulls out of. Retail ETBs, you sometimes get nothing out of Pokemon Center ones. It's swings and roundabouts. Reverse Joltik, Reverse Garbodor. Hey, and a regular Roaring Moon EX, we'll take that. Next one. We have got Reverse Tinker Tough, Reverse Deoxys, Foil Garganical. Two packs left in uh, Pokemon Center ETB at number one, and then we'll move on to Pokemon Center ETB at number two. Oops. Falling trash everywhere. Reverse Tandem Mouse, Reverse Zubat, Foil Morpeko. Next one. Is there going to be something good from this one, or is this whole ETB going to be rough again? Reverse Technical Machine, Turbo Energize, Reverse Countercatcher, Foil Palkia. Alright, first Pokemon Center ETB did not do much for us. 11 more packs. This is the second Pokemon Center ETB. Let's see what we're going to start off with. Reverse Dotler, Reverse Feebas. Ooh, and a full Art Larry. All right, we'll take that. So already, I think this has just completely beaten everything else we've opened so far. Very, very nice card. Next one. We have Reverse Joltik. Ooh, we've got a Mind Shower illustration. All right, this ETB is where it's at. And then we have a Chi Yu. I know from the way I had the pile stacked too that this is the one that was missing the the Screamtail because I know where I put them and I was searching through them to make sure it wasn't in this. So maybe this is the ETB apologizing somewhat. Reverse Vanillish, Reverse Crustal, Foil, Chen Bao. Let's see if it really wants to make it up to us with something very, very good. Reverse Tiny Mouse, Reverse Mantike, Foil, Iron Moth. I love that Mantike is in this set and now has, uh, it's over doubled its total amount of English TCG cards from 2 to 5. Reverse Technical Machine Turbo Energize, Reverse Cloth, and Program Z. Still a good few packs to go. Let's see what we're going to get. We have got Reverse Swablu, Reverse Technical Machine Blindside, and a Foil Steelix. Next one. I love this Jirachi. It's so crazy it's just a common. This art is incredible. This is the kind of art I would love to see on like a playmat or just... If Pokemon artists were allowed to sell prints and stuff of their artwork in the same way like magic artists and stuff are, I would absolutely love this artwork somewhere. We have a Reverse Eveltal, Reverse Zation, and a Foil Chi Yu. Next one. What do we got? It's got a few packs left. Something good in this one. It's Reverse Wimpod. A Reverse Chen Pao. And a, f and a I was going to say Foil Armour. It's an Armour X. Not too bad. 
Three packs to go. Still, still time. Let's give us a very, very nice hit. Please make up for missing that stupid promo out of my box. Then I'm going to have to go and start chasing people up for now. Rest Ting Lu. Rest Chocolate. Foil Chi Yu. Nothing in that one. Oh. We have got Rest Hone Edge. Reverse Simi Sage. And a Foil Chen Pao. Final pack. The final Pokemon Center ETB from the video, and then I'll do a nice little roundup of all the good pulls. Reverse Toxel, Reverse Luxurious Cape, and a Foil Zekrom. Alright, let's do, let's look at the good stuff again. Alright, well for over a box worth of packs, we did not get very many hits. We got some EXs, we got Armor Rouge, Garchomp, Tapu Koko, Iron Hands, and Roaring Moon. Just a couple of illustration rays, we got Crystal, Ez Pathra, Mind Chow, and Iron Jugulus, and we got... A full art Larry. Yeah, like I said, for over a box worth of packs, not great. Normally, I can fall back and say, hey, well, we buy these products for the promos, but I didn't even get one of those. So I'm off to email Pokemon Center, I guess, and get some automated reply and then make another video later. Hopefully, you guys at least enjoyed this a little bit. Uh, hopefully, the person who was commented saying they want to track pulls from the two different ones appreciates this. And, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what happens with uh, that situation. I'll see you again soon. We would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who chooses to support the DJ Gigabyte channel on Patreon. Join us to help out and get a look behind the scenes. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. Ha <laughs> ha!